Hello, I am exactly 35 weeks pregnant today and I have a doctor's appointment where we're supposed to have a growth scan for the baby. So Gray is actually meeting me at the place um, because he wants to see the ultrasound. Apparently it's supposed to be super, super short, so it shouldn't be that exciting, but um, it'll be good to see her on the scan and make sure everything's going well. I also have to do the group B strep swab. After the appointment, we're going over to a friend's house for some dinner. Um, and I'm trying to bring dessert, so I need to make a dessert. Um, but I just made cookies last week when we went to another person's house for dinner, so I don't want to make cookies again. So Gray was like, oh, you should make brownies. And honestly, like, it's, it's already noon, so I think I'm just gonna go to the store and get a box mix. I don't think we have like the right ingredients for brownies anyway, so I have to go to the store anyway. And a box mix will be faster. And a lot of times people can't tell the difference. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that, that's what I'm doing. Low effort, but it's fine. Um, I also need to do laundry today because we have a lot of that, so. This morning I woke up around 4 a.m. because I was starving because I didn't really eat much last night because I was having a lot of heartburn. And so, I think that's why at least. So I laid in bed until like 5 a.m. and I was like, okay, I can't stand it anymore. So I got out of bed at five, ate some breakfast, got back in bed around when Gray was waking up around 6.37 and um, then I, I fell back asleep as he was getting ready for work. It's been a weird morning, I guess. Whoops, I just realized there's a little washcloth in the way there. So for food today, I'm just gonna make some plain ramen with just noodles and butter because like I said, I am experiencing heartburn and it sucks. So we have like a pack of ramen and we like the chicken flavor better. So whenever I make plain noodles, I always use the beef pack so that we don't like waste the chicken pack. Though it doesn't really matter because we always save all the beef pack flavoring just in case we might want it for something later. I don't know why because we never use it if I ever do that. But yeah, fun fact. Before I was pregnant, I never poured myself a glass of milk, especially one this big. I just really like milk these days. Okay, here's my lunch. Noodles with nothing, no flavoring, just a little bit of butter. Whenever I eat this, I feel like I'm like a toddler or something, but I can keep it down and it won't make my stomach hurt, so that's what we're doing. I also have my milk and I got a cookie. I might regret the cookie later, but I really wanted it. Update. I finished the milk and I finished the noodles. I did not eat the cookie. I think I'm not going to. I don't really want it anymore. <laughs> okay, so I have like no time, but... I'm going to the store to get a box mix. This is gonna be really, really tight. I may or may not finish making these before I have to go to the doctor. <laughs> but we'll see. I forgot to film in the store, but I got the mix. Ghirardelli Chocolate Supreme. Woohoo! <laughs> need to preheat the oven for, well, I don't know, I didn't, oh, 325. Wow, it's so easy to make box mix stuff. You literally just need to add water, vegetable oil, and an egg. I have time for this, totally. Let's see the baby bump. Thirty-five weeks today. This is a fourth cup of water going in the bowl. Need to crack egg. Did it. 
What was that? I think something fell off the washing machine. Okay, mixing. Ooh, it smells good. It's currently 1.35 and I need to leave here at 2.30 to get to my doctor's appointment. And the brownies take about 40 to 45 minutes to bake. So hopefully they actually take that long and not any longer because we actually are cutting it a little close. Okay, I would say that this is well blended. So now I'm gonna pour it in the pan. These are my brownies, going in the oven now. Are you gonna let me make the bed? Because I need to do that. I used to hang them up in the nursery closet, but now that closet's kind of getting full, so now I hang it up in the guest room closet. But now this closet's getting full of Christmas presents, because this is where my family's all coming for Christmas, so they are shipping their presents here. So we've got like over here all the boxes of presents they've ordered, and these are the ones that I'm going to be shipping out to people, the ones that are in here. And then these ones, these ones are for my family. This one's for Gray. A bunch of these are for Gray. Um, yeah, and then this is our wrapping supplies. And this down here is a box that my grandmother sent us with a bunch of Christmas presents for me, Gray, and the baby. one right now the timer's gonna go off in like three seconds oh it's going off okay they look good I'm just gonna let them sit here until I get back from the doctor okay I'm heading out the door um, my appointments in like 30 minutes it's supposed to take like 25 to get to the hospital so yeah oh I'm gonna need the car keys probably I thought that I left them in the car. Well, I was trying to leave them in the car and then the lights wouldn't turn off. And so I was like, maybe I have to take the car keys. I don't understand how this car works. It's new. I love having this car in this garage because, you know, it's 20 degrees outside. So I don't ever have to go into the cold. I can just get in my car in the heated garage and just leave without ever going outside. It's the best thing ever. Um, I still have my coat in here from when I went to the store, so. I do have a coat for like actually walking outside. Okay, I'm gonna go so I can drive and text Gray that I'm leaving. Hello, it's the next day. Uh, we kinda got a little bit busy. I forgot to really film anything in the doctor's office, um, but we kinda got a little busy because uh, we end up leaving the doctor a lot later than we thought. Um, it just took a while for the doctor to be available and stuff. Um, but everything looked really good in the ultrasound. I have some pictures I can get. She looked really good. Um, they said that they estimated her to be five pounds, five ounces. And then that put her in the 34th percentile. She said that probably when she's born, she'll be around seven pounds. So we'll see what happens if she grows a lot more um, or not. I was eight pounds, two and a half ounces at birth. So I was on the bigger side. So we'll see if she gains more weight. She had a heart looked really good. Um, the amniotic fluid looked good. 
She's head down, which is really good. The doctor said that she probably won't be turning anymore, which hopefully she won't, and she'll stay head down until I deliver. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And we, um, you need to chill, buddy. She's so weird. My heartburn's doing a lot better today. It's not great. Um, I'm trying to eat more blandish foods still, though I'm not like going as extreme as yesterday, um, where I just had noodles and milk. That's pretty much it. That's pretty much the update. Um, doing great so far in the pregnancy. Everything's looking totally normal, so we're just hoping that that continues. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or anything, leave them in the comments and check out some other videos if you want and subscribe too if you want. Yeah, that's all. Bye.